A doctor in motorsports is trained to work outside of the hospital. Medical professionals are needed because we can assess a driver quite quickly and see if he's vitally stable or he needs medical assessment from us. Everything in extrication is a team effort. If one doesn't do its part perfectly, then the rest of the team suffers from that. I think we play a key role in the FE world because we take care of the drivers after a crash and take care of their safety. I'm Dr. Linda van Wagenberg and this is how we get ready for the best. I didn't have one big moment in life to choose the medical profession. I did the biomedical sciences before I did medical school, but I wanted to interact more with the people and patients. That's why I chose the medical profession. Remove the helmet? Yes. Or you remove the helmet? Okay. My regular job, I work in the hospital, in the operating theaters, and I also work with very sick patients and make rapid decisions. But in motorsports, I work outside with healthy athletes. We also have to make rapid decisions, but in a completely different environment. In Formule E, I'm the extrication doctor, and I take care of the drivers after a crash. Extrication means that we get a driver out of a vehicle safely. Bruno, you're not feeling dizzy or feeling about to pass out? Okay, perfect. So we assess the driver and see if he needs any medical assistance. And then we try to see how we get the driver out. If the car is green, we don't need any safety measurements for the extrication. But if it's a red car, we need to wrap the car in rubber because there's always a risk of fire or a risk of any electrical hazards. When the driver is stable, we can ask him to do a safety jump. But when he has pain in his back or in his neck, we have to take him out of the car by seat extrication or bow extrication. And when he's vitally unstable, we take him as fast out of the car as possible by rapid extrication. Ready, set, move. We train on the days before the race on a demo car with the entire team. Preparation is important because when we have to do it during a race or qualifying, we know what to do in every step. Ready, set, lift. So we practice several types multiple times before the race. And during race day we just prep to be ready whenever something happens. We divide ourselves in the cars, the cars are packed, and we just wait for something to happen. Lights out and we're racing! There's days we don't do a lot, there's days we're very busy depending on what happened on track. When there's a crash, we wait for the FIA to ask us to go and track and see the driver. When I have assessed the driver, I tell my incident commander how I think the driver is doing and what needs to be done. And then as a team, we take care of the driver. For me, a good race day is when we work as a team, everything is smoothly and we're happy that we work very well as a team. I enjoy it because it's completely different than working a day in a hospital. It's always challenging because circumstances can be different in every track and every race. And no crash is the same, so you always have to navigate through a new situation. You never know what's going to happen in a day.